everyone welcome to part 182 of laravel 9 tutorial in which we are cutting the multi vendor e-commerce website and uh, we are integrating the easy co payment gateway uh, that is specially for the turkey user and one of my friend one of my member asked for this payment gateway and you can also become the member uh, of stack developer youtube channel if you want the any of the payment gateway or any other feature if you want in your e-commerce website you can always join as a Hello superior or genius developer ge ge uh, genius stack developer okay to get that feature done for your e-commerce website okay so in the last video uh, you can see uh, that uh, we able to uh, integrate that we able to update that uh, uh, our checkout page okay here we have updated our checkout page and we have able to generate the easy pay page to make the payment as well okay here we are showing the pay now button as well okay so here if you will uh, go to the card once again i'm going to the card and here you can see the three products are already there we can click on proceed to check out here we can select the delivery address and we can see the easy pay uh, i'm going to select this easy pay and click on place order and here we reach at the pay now okay and we can click this pay now to reach further uh, to here this pay function we are we are going to uh, going to uh, add or uh, the uh, like finally we are going to redact here from here to the easy pay payment gateway okay this function helps us help the user to redact uh, from the website to the easy pay payment gateway with the order details okay order details we are going to fetch from this order id that we have get in the session id okay uh, that we have stored in the session id in fact okay so uh, but first of all we are going to install the package one of the package that will help us to integrate the easy pay so uh, that package uh, we are we will get our its package name is uh, uh, easy pay we can search for the easy pay php git package okay uh, like uh, see i'm going to show you e easy go uh, php in uh, integration or package okay so here you can open this one this package and we are going to install this package that will help us in some way okay so we are going to install this composer package so simply we're going to run uh, for our project here okay here ecom9 here we're going to run uh, for our project composer require easy co easy pay hyphen php okay so it will take few seconds to install this package uh, so we will also create an account see here uh, this is almost done okay so this package has been installed so after that we will also create the account here we can close the earlier files that we have got uh, open to uh, make the easy pay button okay after installing this package uh, we are going to create this sandbox uh, account in easy pay okay we create easy pay sandbox account so we are going to search for this easy pay sandbox account so here is the link uh, to create the easy pay sandbox account you can simply open this one and you can also open this link okay so you can open this link to create the new account if you don't have the account i have already created the account if you don't have the account you can open from this link i have mentioned in the video description as well this link i have given in the description video description so please check it so you can open you can create the account from here name your surname email address your phone number you can select the india if you are from india or from any other other uh, other country if you are belongs to turkey turkey is already defined okay Tur turkey is by default selector okay so and here the password is the numeric value okay no numeric value is the password here you can put anything one two three four here uh, you can give the password i have already created the account here okay so i'm going to login uh, see already have an account i'm going to login yes i already have an account so i'm going to login in my account so after login after you created the account you can login okay you can give the sms code like one two three four five six it is fixed you can give this code and you can click on verify okay and after reaching your account you can click here on your name and you can click on merchant setting and here in merchant setting you can uh, have the api key and secret key you can simply get the your api key 
uh, by clicking on show detail and also you will get the secret key for the security reason i am not showing but here you can simply get your ap key as well as the secret key from here okay so so the next step is uh, to define these keys uh, here in your code okay so now uh, once you have created these keys you are going to use these keys and i'm going to open i'm going to create the easy pay model easy pay model we have already created in that we are going to create the uh, one function uh, so what i'm going to do here i'm going to open the model that we have created in the last video this in this model we are going to add one function that we will copy from the one more file easy pay file because we have installed the easy pay package so some new files must have come like you can see the this bootstrap file has come up and also other file must have come now uh, I, wait here, I easy pay here because we want uh, one more function i'm going to see for that file Uh, I think we can open that uh, github packet once again that will help us to search for one of the files that we require uh, so we can go here easy pay source samples also given uh, api test here okay so easy pay uh, create payment config we can open this config file config uh, config in easy yeah so this one you can open this file config file here you can search for the config.php and it is located see uh, it is located in your config.php it is located in, in your easy pay uh, in vendor folder inside vendor easy easy co then easy pay php samples config.php so you can open this file i just found this file from here okay so this is the path so uh, what i can do i will just copy this function and here i'm going to paste it in our model okay so because we are going to use this function so that's set i'm going to uh, close this these files and we are going to use here i'm going to replace this api key uh, with the key that they have provided this one uh, this api key i'm going to replace replace this one uh, and also replace this secret key with this one okay uh, that the keys they have provided i'm going to replace these so after replacing these keys then i will move further with the code and there is one more link i'm going to open here uh, that will help us to integrate uh, the easy pay code i'm going to uh, search for that one uh, like easy pay PHP, uh, create i'm going to open search for that link and that link also i have given in inside that video description I create easy pay sandbox account so see this documentation easy pay documentation you can open this documentation okay easy pay documentation here you can click on api and uh, sorry not api here you can go uh, to this pay with easy co and initialize pay with easy co so this one so here uh, you can copy this php you can see this php code and you can simply copy this complete php code up till here okay and paste inside uh, your uh, uh, here easy pay controller here we are going to paste this one to test the easy pay okay so some modification we are going to do uh, okay so i'm going to use this one okay so i'm going to remove this one as well that is not required as of now okay so uh, i am going to uh, use those options as well here and uh, and also order order details uh, but first we are going to uh, pay with these dummy details okay and 
our main concern is to show the easy pay payment gateway screen okay so that is our main concern uh, so here uh, we are going to make a request first okay uh, easy pay resource request so that we are going to create first of all uh, so that uh, we are going to create uh, Uh, so here uh, we will take options variable and easy pay is our model from where uh, we are going to fetch this options function okay so this model we are going to add this model at the top use app models easy pay like this okay so once we get this one then uh, uh, this options we are going to use here okay like this okay so uh, this options we are going to use here we are going to replace this config option that is coming from the config vendor config and we replace it with this one and here and this one we are going to uh, simply echo this one the result we are going to see that what result it will come see the result will have the easy po e easy co link okay easy co payment gateway link okay so here we're going to put die see here if you will check its response uh, in json you can see uh, its response must be something like this in which you will also see the pay with easy pay page url okay so this link uh, will show the payment gateway easy easy go payment gateway okay so uh, we are going to test now let's see that what is the uh, out output so uh, we're going to click on pay now and we'll see for the output that will come and here you can see the output is coming here from the easy pay payment gateway and here you can able to see uh, this one is coming uh, but here uh, still uh, actually this is the error code okay so we are going to uh, search for this error code this error code is is coming in the turkey language so we are going to uh, translate this error code and we'll see that what is the error, error exactly okay api information not found okay fine so i have not copy the api information so far so api information is missing so you can see the error messages are also coming and telling us that what is missing exactly because i have not replaced the api key secret key so far okay so uh, as this one is the sandbox api key as well as the secret key i'm going to show you that what is the api key and secret key that you can also use uh, but this is the sandbox okay uh, so uh, let's see let's log in once again i just log out uh, automatically logged out so i will just see use this sms code once again one two three four five six and you can go to here merchant setting you can create the account if you don't have i am going to see the ap key as well as the secret key i am going to copy this sandbox ap key and will replace here okay uh, please don't use these you must uh, create your own account here it is free to create anyone uh, from the entire world can create this uh, easy uh, pay account okay so i have just replaced the keys now i'm going to try once again okay i'm going to refresh here and we'll see if i will uh, have the correct success and this time status is success and you can see uh, everything is coming fair and we have also got the url okay url for the payment gateway that we can use okay so we can able to process this further uh, to get this url out of this uh, json data whatever the object you can see it's coming in object so we first is uh, required to convert this object to array okay so we must convert this object to array uh, so we can simply convert it like this payment response okay i will take one variable payment response and uh, we'll use here array like this and here i'm going to copy this one i'm going to uh, so i hope that this will convert it to array let's see i'm going to now print this one let's see that it will convert to array 
uh, yes it has been converted to array now you can see it has been converted to array so i want to pick this one so uh, there are many ways to do i can also add the for each loop here okay and simply process this one pay, uh, payment respo response and here i can take the response variable and i can now uh, simply uh, use here one more variable like dollar response underscore decode so whatever the response is i'm going to decode that too uh, okay json decode i'm going to decode that so like this so here we will finally going to check i hope that we will get now that i'm going to use this one response to code okay i'm going to check this one now and i hope that we will get the final output here that we can use and see i want this data and we'll refresh i want the status local system time conversion id and here you can see we finally got it status local system type conversion id okay only in the data token token expired time and pay uh, url okay so right now see this data you can store in your database as well okay so that you must know that what ha what is happening with the order and this one you can use it to redirect the user directly to this url okay so uh, what we can uh, do we can simply uh, make one variable here pay url and simply uh, use that like response decode i'm going to use this response decode here and here i will simply take the user to this one this url okay i'm going to copy and with paste and this pay url i'm going to re return redirect the user directly to this url return redirect uh, to this pay url okay that's it and i'm going to command this one nothing else required now the user will get redirected to the payment gateway okay so let's refresh and we'll see uh, we're going to see whether the user user uh, attempt to read property no user uh see pay url here make sure that everything is correct response to code uh, okay uh, pay with page url here uh, i think uh, it is going further so maybe so we can use here the break okay so now we can try once again i have used now break and we'll see okay so finally we are redirecting to the payment gateway and here is the easy co payment gateway screen okay so here you can see uh, here the price and something is coming and here the wording is also coming here uh, we can just check that where we have reached you can log in or sign in for your account with your email address and complete your payment easily so finally we have reached the easy co payment gateway and you can see this is the sandbox easy co payment gateway same like the paypal uh, do okay so we finally reached here to make the payment so in the next video uh, we are going to convert this static value to the dynamic we will get the order details here and we are going to use the order details to process that order details along with the payment okay so that thing we are going to do in the next video so please stay tuned for that in the next video we are going to complete this easy pay payment gateway easy co payment gateway okay so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye